Hello everybody and welcome back to all the mod 6. Today, we start processing all our honeycomb blocks inside these elite centrifuges. It's quite insane. I hope you enjoy. So today, like we said in the last video, we're going to automate our honeycomb because we've actually got so much comb now, it's ridiculous. Like 10k, nearly 8k wither comb, 14k coal, and everything. Like, this is still slowly going through to wither honeycomb, but I think it'd be way better if it was in block form. And all the stars we had, yeah, I may have burned through all of them, making two more tier 4 apries. So I've now got a separate apiary with about 13 or so bees in here. And I filled out the four wit star, uh, nether star blocks. And tier 4 apiary at the back. And I've got tier 4 apiary in here with mana bees. And I've also got my rats on the back as well. Ooh, wait, I've got extra rat here? Oh, where did he come from? But you can see, I have about three or four rats on each hive. Which seems to give the perfect time for the length of, for the, the amount of time bees I'm going to spend in the hive. So, that's perfect. But if you remember... I showed you that we made an area down here for our centrifuges. Now, to make our centrifuge, if you if we go to uh, resourceful bees, uh, I may have made a ton of tier 1 beehives. Uh, we need them. Or, yeah, tier 4. Uh, so we need a centrifuge controller, which requires this centrifuge casing, which is just basically blocks of iron and redstone. So if we just make ourselves two stacks of this, where we go with three. Three should be plenty for what we need. And if we make ourselves a couple of centrifuges, we need eight in total. Uh, because that's how many we're going to be able to fit down here. So eight centrifuges. And we need to make eight centrifuge controllers. Uh, like this. There we go. So now we can upgrade these. Because who's going to use basic ones when we've got the elite? Which require blocks of netherite. And I have been letting my netherite bees go for a while. So we have 4,000 netherite. So making netherite is no problem. So back to resourceful bees. And now with this block. We can upgrade this. We need an elite casing. Which is made like this. So we're just going to dump everything in here. There we go. Plenty of elite casing. And now we're going to make our 8 controllers. And I think that's it. All we need now is just a leak casing. And we're done. So what we need then instead now is we need import. We need import. Um, if I can spell import. We need importers from refined storage. Let's grab a few more of them. I'm going to need way more than that. Uh, just make a stack of these. And a stack of... Oh wait, there's gold ones. Okay. Uh, 34. That means we're just out of cable. I need to make a little bit more because we need more. And we need an exporter. So let's grab ourselves some exporters. There's only one. There we go. And exporter. Put these in here. Boom. All right. Plenty of them. We shouldn't need any more exporters and importers for a good while now. So to build these, we need to remove these torches because they're in the way. And I don't know if I want to go towards through the back and then have only the front be accessed. Uh, I doubt we need it. So we just need to fill in here all of this. And I'll probably just grab my builder's wand just to speed up the placing. So grab our infinity wand. Build it up. And then we just need to break out every two blocks. Is that every two blocks? Yes. And then put a controller inside. And now these have created four elite centrifuges. As you can see, it does about six things at once. So it does a lot. Now I have to do the same over here. And there we go. So now we've got all of them down. I ended up actually running out of netherite or out of this centrifuge casing. And I had to... Pretty much the breakdown uh, some of the blocks we made because apparently we ran out of all the blocks as well. So now we need a lead cable and a point. 
so that we can connect our centrifuges to our power. So this is not center. Wait, is it? No, 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 it's fine, it's fine. Uh, so where are we going to hook the power in? I'm guessing we'll come through the back here. So this is the center, and I want to come down and underneath all of it. So I want to run the power cable underneath it all. Uh, how far over do we need to go? All right, to here. So here is that cable. And yeah, I want to run it across like this. So this goes into this one here. This into this one here. This one here. And yeah. So now we can just put that there. Grab our point. Actually, I want to run this across now this way. Oh, way too far digging. That's the only thing about this pickaxe. It's way too fast. And I still need to upgrade this tools. Like, I do want to get the new sword. There's a new sword in the uh, Maho to Sky uh, mod that we will look into doing. We've already got it in our modded wor in our streaming world. And it's fairly powerful. Let's just say... 200 plus attack damage. Yeah. So, Alright, put that there. And grab our cable. So, down, across two, up, across two, up, across two, and up. There we go. So, fill this in. And then run our cable across to the center of the room, which is right here. And we're just going to plug our point in right here boom now everything is getting power so we can just cover it back in the floor and pretend the cable's not even there all right now with the cable and uh, plugged in i want to come back here i just need to make a bit of room because i do want to actually keep the front clean so i'm going to do everything from the back here all right so this should be the edge of the thing nope here it is yep so this is the edge so from here over to here, we need to plug in our cables. So the exporter, so we need to figure out what's going into each one first. So we have room for six different combs, but I think we should use three different combs in each one. So this should be easy enough. So if we grab a comb and we have to pick out which comb we want to use first. So what we'll do is the ones we have used, we will bookmark over here on the left. So let's just dump all this stuff that we don't need out of our inventory so we can make room for this. So we'll start with coal, iron. We'll kind of go with the metals first. So coal, iron, copper. So these three will go in here first. So we want to use an exporter and we want to export these three things. And before we used to have to make a crafting upgrade to craft comb into the block but because our bees are now producing blocks only we don't have to do that so next one uh if we grab our exporter put it here nope right here and grab our next set just bookmark these so now let's do aluminium where's tin we should have tin uh i don't see tin Huh, okay, maybe not. Uh, okay, we'll do lapis and redstone. Put these three in here and bookmark the tree. And we'll just do this for the whole lot. Okay, so I have put as many combs as I can so far. And we've only managed to get as far as this one, which has only got one glowing honey's comb in here. Well, because we've run out of other combs that we already have. Until we get into making stuff like unobtainium, all the modium... Uh, other things as well as draconic, blazing, crimson iron. Uh, this will have to do. So this one actually won't be doing anything for a while. We might actually throw other stuff to want to double for the time being. So maybe like wither comb. So if we want to get a lot of wither comb go going, we can do that. But now all we need to do is connect the cables up. And we have to add imports onto this so that it will actually run the cable. So I actually want to move this back one behind the wall here so that the cable is completely hidden and the wires and area are completely clean so let's connect all these up just run a cable down this way and run a cable down this way there we go now they're connected so i want to grab some stack upgrades and some speed upgrades 
So I need a bunch of stack upgrades. I'm going to need eight. And I'm going to need more of these um, blank upgrades. There we go. More speed upgrades. 51. And we're out of sugar. Now, sugar can be made by beetroot, which we have plenty of. But I think I did say in the last episode that at the start of this one, I was meant to cut down the sugar cane, and I never did. So let's go cut down our sugar cane that we have been growing for a while now. How much do we get? So, magnet on. Baby zombie has targeted us and he's sinking. Let's go. Some reason I am missing some sounds. I don't hear this. You know why? Because I muted the sound of breaking grass. Oh my god, look at it. There's so much of it. I think to fly around here for a moment to make sure I pick it all up. So it's up in the trees and everything. Over here, nothing in the trees. Grab it out of a tree. Pick it all up over here. And I think we've picked it all up. Alright, and if you look up sugar, we have seven sugar cane. So how much do we actually get? Damn, that is a lot. Minus seven. No, screw the seven. <laughs> 6,183 sugar cane. Damn. And there's definitely none we missed, is there? I don't think so. So all that's left now to do is replant it all and let it fully grow up the sky again. Alright, with the sugar cane replanted, now we can continue with our importers and stack upgrades. So, we need more speed upgrades, boom. Stack upgrades, boom. No problem, I just need a few more. That'd be plenty. And then just take back out our speed upgrades. There we go. And all we have to do now is, in here, just put a speed upgrade and a stack upgrade. Oh wait, there's stack upgrades. Hang on. One stack upgrade, speed. And actually, I might need more than 12 speed or stack upgrades. So over here, stack upgrade, speed, and you can see, oh my god, it's already full? Okay, uh, we need to get importers on this now. So the importer is going to go here, 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 and here, and we're going to add a stack and speed. Is that going to even be fast enough? Why can't I open it? I can't open this one. Damn. I need to figure out what's wrong with this one. I can't seem to open this uh, interface. But I can open this one. So, importer. I need stack and speed. I might need to put multiple imports on this. Oh, actually, no. It might be okay. No, yeah. That, no, that's fine. That's fine. It's, it's perfectly fine. Uh, it's already full of honey. I don't think... Does this actually need... The actual honey bottles in here to export. Does it go faster when you put honey with bottles in there? Let's actually test that. So if we grab some bottles. Which are actually out of bottles. Surprising. Let's grab a couple of stacks of bottles. And let's see. So if we open this and put bottles in here. No, it's not going any faster. So it doesn't matter. Uh, so yeah, we don't have to worry about bottles. So in here, speed upgrades and a stack upgrade, speed and a stack. This guy's got it and that guy's got it. This guy sh should be important. I'm going to break the a block here and replace it and see will it work. I think I might be missing a block up here. Hang on. Aha, there was a missing block. Okay, well, we can put this back together now since now we know what the issue was. So I need to actually take out. A block and fill it in. Oh, I thought it was missing two. No. Just put the controller right here. Casing. I need one more casing. Uh, oops. Case. I need casing. Put away these bottles. I don't need them. And boom. Now this guy's working. He's not getting power though. Why? He is connected. Yeah, right? Yeah, he is. I say because I broke a thing when it was already connected, I need to replace it. 
Yep, there we go. Now it's working. All right. Yeah, that'll do. So import is now on this side. So import, import, import. How's this guy doing since he was just doing with... No, oh my god. That's a lot of beeswax. All right. Uh, so this guy with a stack upgrade and speed. I need a few more stack upgrades. Two. That. I need more speed upgrades. More of these guys. So speed. And stack. There we go. There should be plenty. So in here, stack, speed, stack, speed, and last but not least, stack and speed. So this should be everything. Oh, okay. Yeah, it is exporting. <laughs> I was kind of scared that these things are going to be backed up to hell. But nope, there it seems to be doing perfectly fine. And everything seems to be exporting fairly fast into our system. So our resource uh, count is going to skyrocket. Okay. All I have to do now is to fill back in the area and hide all these wires. I don't think we're going to need access back here so we can put stone over there and reach over there. Oops. And we just need to get a piece of marble to fill in the hole in the roof. And boom. Done. Uh, I feel like it's kind of dark right here, so maybe I should add like light. Seems fine, good enough though. All right, so I have to leave this run. Is it dark? No, it's not. Perfect. So we've just had enough uh, apiaries and nether stars to create two more tier four apiaries. So if we come over here, we have the mana bees in here. But one thing I seem to be lacking in a lot is quartz. So I think it's time we set up a room dedicated to quartz bees. So what we need is an apiary storage. There it is. Apiary storage. Come in here. Break this block. Put it there. And in the wall right here. I need to break these two because what I like to do is grab ourselves a slab. A vertical slab. Put the vertical slab like, not like that, but like this. There we go. Put the apiary here. And now this is a fully functional apiary. Which we can now put quartz blocks on the ground. If I get back at the quartz I just put away. There we go. So I want to make the floor as a grid or a pattern more like. What? Wait, something picked up. Oh, wait, we don't need this anymore because we're not picking up stuff anymore. So grab ourselves some grass. There we go. And some stone brick. Just to fill back in that hole where that item collector was. Boom. Set this thing to export. Um, right here and now fill in the floor with quartz and now we just need to get ourselves some crystal bees uh, B do I have any crystal bees or do I have to go down into the other hive I think I have to go down to the other hive so let's grab ourselves uh, nine crystal bees should be plenty so down here come in here to our crystal bees and now we're just gonna pick up nine of them because eventually these hives will also be uh, repurposed into apiaries as well. Uh, I don't know what else we're going to be making in there. But we can have double bees. So now all we have to do is just empty all the bees out into here. And now they will start producing tons of comb blocks. If they would stop fighting over a single block. You go get a different one. Okay, they can't make up their mind. But yeah, so now all we have to do is wait for this to produce. So you've got pollen on them. When you go inside the apiary, you're heading to it. Nope, can't. Doesn't decide. One of them should go in there, right? I'm not seeing them go into the hive. Which is kind of concerning. Oh no, they went in. Okay, thank god. I thought they were glitched out like last time. I'm still waiting for this pack to get an update to, for, to fix that bug, but... Nothing yet. All right, with the other tier four apiary and a tier and an apiary storage, we can come in here, and we don't actually have a pipe, so we'll need to make one going up. So grab ourselves a logistical pipe. There we go. Run this guy up from here, just to here, and break this. Put our apiary storage right here, and set this guy to export. 
come inside, break this and this, and we need to also pick out our slab. There we go, just need one. You there, apri here, fully function apri. And now we have to decide what other B we want to put in here. Because we have mana, wither, and maybe we should put netherite. I'm trying to think of a B that we're going to be using a lot of. And I think I should get a netherite B. There's definitely way too many bees in here. Like, they're all bumping off each other. And it takes a while for them to actually gather honeycomb. Like, these two diamond bees are fighting over one diamond block. So, that's not going to work. So, I think we should grab our netherite bee. Or maybe we should start making all the modium bees. Hang on. Do we have enough time to make an all the modium bee? It shouldn't be too difficult. All we need is a nether bee and a wither bee. That's easy. So, we just grab our bee jars. I should have a spare wither bee in here. Because I didn't put all of them in there. Or maybe I did. Okay, maybe I did. I'll just get another two jars. I'm going to come in here. Yoink you. Oh, nope. Come in here. Yoink you. And we'll just come over to another open bee room that hasn't had anything in it yet. Come in here. Perfect. You down and you down. All we need now is netherite scrap. Do I have any scrap left? I don't think so. You do need scrap debris, isn't it? Yes. Do I have any ancient debris? Yes. Alright, let's go turn this into scrap. Alright, I've got plenty of scrap. So I give this guy some scrap. And you want... Stars. There we go. And what I'll have to do then is, as soon as his baby's made, pick him up before he suffocates. And I'm going to leave... Actually, I can take you out now. So in here, I want netherite. And in the next room, I'm going to put all the modium. So we need netherite blocks. Plenty of it. So let's just fill this room with netherite blocks. Like that. And then just put our netherite bee in here. Now, I do need to take a second netherite bee, as I don't have one. And netherite bee is made by mixing a diamond and a wither. Okay, that should be too bad. If I just go get our diamond bee and another wither bee, um, we should have no problem uh, making another netherite bee. Alright, diamond and a another wither bee. All we do is give him nether stars and give this guy a diamond, wherever he is. There he is. And get ready to pick up the netherite bee. There he is. Pick up the two of these. And we'll come back over to the wither area and put the wither bee back inside that hive. And from there, we can go let the other bees grow up. So what I do, what I like to do to make let them grow up is, if I come over here and grab myself a lead, is I, if I grab two leads and dump everything else, I don't need these. So what I want to do is B, lead, B on a lead. That way, if I time to this post, they're going to sit here and they can't go anywhere to get themselves killed. So, until they grow up. And these guys are going to take 1,000 seconds and that's going to be a while. So, one way to speed that up, if I grab some netherite, some netherite ingots, I just sit here and spam right click on this guy and he should... Oh, wait, it's scrap, isn't it? Not netherite ingots, it's scrap I need to spam him with. Yeah, so I went from 1,000 seconds down to... nearly 10 seconds now. 30 seconds, 15. Alright, 15 seconds. And now what I can do with the Aldemonium bee is, we've got tons of Aldemonium, and I'll show you now in a minute why. So, you require actual nuggets, isn't it? So, if I just give you tons of nuggets, and you are going to grow, yet yeah, you're a full bee now. And I need to get you grow, so you're going to be a full bee in 20 seconds. So, while you grow into a full bee, I'm going to show you where all this Aldemonium came from. You might remember we had the building, or the mining dimension. Mining Dimension may have got a bit of a hand. Now, you can't see much, but if I turn on my render distance a bit to about 20 chunks, you'll be able to see we have mined out a huge area. And if you can see, this area is completely empty, but this place is full of ore. This is all the modium. And from here, I like got on the edge right here. Uh, we only dug out this part. 
I then went ahead and done the second part, which seems to be longer. Uh, maybe it is. Maybe I did only did half. Yeah, I did half. I must have not mined this part. But you can see, there is so much old demodium, and like it is there, it was the same right here. And I dug it all up. It took a while. Uh, especially when flying with a jetpack. Mining is a little bit slower. But I managed to mine up so much of it. Oh god, frame rate, hang on. That we actually have enough for like a couple hundred blocks. And with that couple hundred blocks, down here, if I show you our reactors. Now with water, this temperature was skyrocketing. And you can see we were only producing 5,000 before. But I didn't show you what happened after I updated the pack. The temperature was maxed out at like 2,000 degrees and the uh, power uh, production was only 3,000 RF. But now it's 7,000 and if I turn one off and I'll show you why, the whole inside is full of all the modium blocks. The whole inside. And that goes for all three reactors that we have. So we had so much we could fill the thing with all the modium. And from what I've heard, all the modium or unobtainium are one of the two best materials to use in a big reactor. And I do want to make these reactors even bigger. So I've just realized I don't actually have the other tier 4. I forgot we used it here. So I'm going to have to try and make a new one. But in here, let's at least get it ready. And I can put the, the tier 4 down as soon as we make one. Hopefully by before the end of this episode. Which is coming up real quick. So we need to put down our old modium blocks. And now we can go get ourselves an old modium B. We just need our Apri storage. Um, let me see. Where's our storage? There it is. Apri storage. Break this block here. Put it down. Set to export. Now we can come over here to where our bees are. So they're all fully grown now. So we can actually detach them. Pick them both up. And come back over here. And we can actually then breed our netherite bees which will actually make them as adults not babies so that's why you want to always have at least two of each bee so this guy's going to start gathering all the modium and let's see if we can make ourselves this other apiary all right we have finally made ourselves the tier 4 apiary so if we grab ourselves a slab like this come inside to the bee right here break these two parts put this here and this here before the bee escapes now, he should go inside the apiary on his own. Uh, we'll just leave him to his thing. But now that we have all the modium, we can actually start by making, if we look at B, we can now make ourselves, like, vibranium bees, which is just... Uh, oh, wait, no, I thought you used all the modium. Oh, wait, did you breed all the modium and vibranium? Okay, yeah. We won't do that today. We'll just let... Did he go in? Oh, he did. Yeah, I need to get some rats on these things, but I'll do that off camera. So I'm going to end it there. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget that like button if you did. And subscribe if you're new. And I do stream all the Mod 6 over on Twitch as well. So why not go check that out. Link is down in the description. So without further ado. I hope you enjoyed. <laughs>